Hello everyone, welcome to Urban Farm NG. My name is Adam Ramey James and I'm one of the content creators for Urban Farm NG. In this video, I'll be sharing with you an ideal setup of a homestead farm. And if this is your first time on this channel, I will urge you to subscribe to the channel and press the bell notification icon so you can get notified anytime we drop a new video. This video is going to be very short and informative, so stick around and watch the video to the end. Recently, I went to one of my clients' house, um, a homestead farm, to check up on them and how their farm is doing. And I feel like, let me share their homestead farm setup with my viewers online. Let me create content around their homestead farm to share with my viewers online. So you can have an ideal homestead farm setup in case you want to improve your homestead farm or you are planning to set up your own homestead farm. In this farm, they have animals in the farm and they have some plantation as well. But since I went to the farm during the dry season, most of the plantation are not really doing well. But I will focus more on the animals they have on the farm. In this homestead, they have chicken, goat, turkey, and rabbit. Now, let's start with the goat. This goat house you are seeing is previously a fish pond. But since they decide they are not rearing fish any longer, they convert two of the section to goat house to rear goats in it. And the goats are really doing well. They just start the goat farming and the goats are really doing well. Secondly is the chicken house. If you look at this chicken house, they construct the chicken house in a way that it won't Take much space so you have to pull the uh you have to extract the chicken pool from the house there's a way the housing is set up in a way that they want to manage every space they have and the third one is the turkey if you look at, if you look at this section it's house to animal the turkey and the rabbit i made a video about rearing bed in a close proximity with rabbits it's not a good idea for you to rear bed in a close proximity with rabbits, I told my client as well, and I let them know it's a very wrong idea for you to wear bed in close in close proximity with rabbits. And I have made a video about this in my previous videos on my channel. So if you want to check that out, you can just go to one of my previous videos on my channel. You see that the title is "Mistake Rabbit Farmer Makes." That is the title of the video. So this is all we have to say in this video. And thanks for watching the video to the end. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet. I will urge you to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so you can get notified anytime you drop a new video. Thank you.